Joined today by Alexis Pierce of the women's basketball team, a former uh, intern, I guess you could say, for, for us in the athletic department. Hopefully we can get you back in if, uh, if we get some broadcasts coming up here and you can get an opportunity to get, get some, some more reps there in the meantime. But uh, thanks for joining me here on the Dolphin Tales podcast today. I'm happy to be here, Scott. Thanks for having me. Definitely. You, I mean, your season, this, this is we run everything right back to when all of this started. You all were at the end of the regular season, had just concluded the conference tournament, but we're sitting there in this kind of wait mode, wait and see, and maybe an opportunity to go play in the postseason. Of course, that scrapped, and then, as they say, the rest is history for, uh, for the following months after that. How did you handle the, the period of the season coming to the abrupt end, going home, and then, of course, uh, being in, in kind of quarantine life for the next several months? It was weird. It was different. It was something that I or we, we all have ne- had never imagined would would happen like such an abrupt end, like you said, it was just, it was weird for, it was weird for me personally, just getting that phone call, getting that text message from Coach Haney saying that we wouldn't be able to come back to campus because of a virus. It was weird. It was different. Um, But being home, I mean, it was a good, good time uh, to be with my family. I usually, um, being here at JU for the past three, four years, I don't get that, that family time, but being home, with my family, with my brothers and um, mom and dad, it was awesome. But not being able to be back here with my teammates um, and and and, and work out and practice and being around them, it was it was different. But we still we we Zoom call, we did our virtual thing, and it was cool uh, while it lasted. Now we're back uh, better than ever. I think we're still adjusting. It's day two for us in the fall right now, but I think I think I think it's going to be good. I think things are going to go how it's supposed to go. Fascinating how you right you go home to be with your family, but in the process you're sort of giving up your other family, right? Uh, your basketball family that you're with so much th- throughout the course of an entire year, not just in season. So, how did you? How long did it take to sort of adapt to that when it, when it came to how all these people you're so used to seeing every day, and now you've got to talk to them through a computer screen? It was, it was, like I said, it was weird. It was hard to adjust at first, like you said, just leaving my, my, my sisters, my sisters here um, where they went off to their, um, their families. It was weird to just not be around them how, I use, how we usually are every year, just being around them and building our relationship. So, yeah, it was definitely different for us, but we adjusted. We, we did, like, um, daily Zoom calls and stuff like that just to, just to, you know, catch up with each other and stuff like that. But uh, it was different. It was hard, <laughs> yeah. honestly. I, I can't imagine. W- were you able to – how much for workouts and getting shots up? I mean, how did you try and make that work while you were at home? It was mostly for me, um, just body weight. It was nothing. We couldn't go to, you know, the gyms. The gyms were completely shut down. The courts, everything was completely shut down. I think everywhere. Uh, Georgia was the first to open up, but even until then, I wasn't. Um, I was still scared to go out and just be in the gym just freely. Uh, but for me, it was mostly just at-home workouts, getting in cardio, running around the neighborhood. It wasn't so much of, you know, getting in the gym, like like pushing weights or um, ball handling and dribbling. I ball handle at home, but as far as shooting, uh, that wasn't um, really happening. <laughs> so your handle might be as good as it's ever been, but the shot you're trying to knock a little of the rust off of? <laughs> trying to knock a little bit of the rust off. <laughs> What has this been like these last couple of weeks? Because you all come back to, to campus a little bit ahead of the rest of the student body coming back. And then the men's and women's basketball teams were approved to start working out again. So what has these last few weeks getting back into that semblance of normalcy been like? Uh, we got here, uh, like you said, in the summertime before everybody else came. So we were kind of like the the guinea pigs of the uh, of the operation. We were we had to, you know, get tested. Everyone um got tested. We had to do this daily screening of getting like our temp our temperature checked and stuff like that. So that became after a while it became kind of normal. We do it every day. But um, just getting back on the court, we couldn't do like a full session. We had to break it up into groups on the court uh, and even on the out on the field um, 
but it's been it's been weird but we're finally at a point where we can come together uh at a on a court all together and um, work out together so we're it's baby steps but we're getting there <laughs> when it comes to getting the new players acclimated in. I mean, you come back into an environment where, I mean, you know the majority of the people, you know the coaches. It's weird, but at least you have some familiarity. How are you all trying to incorporate these these new pieces in and make them feel as comfortable as possible in these weird times? Uh, it's, it's, it's different. It's difficult because of when you have new people coming in and in a new environment for them, and them not even really knowing us for real. We're just we're just trying to just build a relationship even outside of the court, just just hanging around each other as much as possible, just trying to uh, grow in that aspect and just learn each other. Uh, two and two newcomers are in my apartment. So one is a sophomore, one is a freshman. So I try to do my job and just as a leader, as a senior, to just be there for them. Um, and just show that we're a team, we're we're a family here at JU. So I think that's just the biggest part of it all, just outside of the court, building that relationship, building that chemistry. So when we do get on the court, um, it can just be like second nature. You all as athletes, I mean, I hear the stories all the time. I see it. Uh, you all are so tight knit. I mean, you 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 spend so much time together. You're you're each other's best friends a lot of the time. But in, in this time where, where cross-pollination is somewhat frowned upon, are you all relying on each other that much more to just do it all together and, and try and keep each other safe? For sure. I think if one of us go down, we all go down. I think that's how we really look at it. If one of us get infected, we all get infected and the whole operation is shut down. So I think we're we're using this time to social distance, but in a way that we can still, uh, like I said, build that chemistry, build that relationship with each other um, in that aspect. But we are definitely using uh, this time to grow uh, and become more tight. We're really genuinely a family here. And I think like we talked about with those freshmen or those newcomers coming, I think that they see that. And I think that we're becoming um what we what we need to be in this time and we're we're doing a lot of stuff where we're just like hanging out in the apartments and stuff like that just you know not really uh engaging with the outside um world right now we're we because honestly we can't so right. it's like if anything we're forced but we we love it in a sense so um definitely well, the NBA, the WNBA, they've got their bubbles. You guys are kind of trying to create your own bubble. Have our here, right? bubble, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what has the start of the school year been like? Uh, everybody moved back in on campus last week, and now here we are in the, the first week of classes, but it's different than it's ever looked before. What, what does it look like for you? It's, I'm just like – it's like Alien City. Everyone's walking around with masks on, and it's a lot of us. Is I didn't realize because we were here in the summertime, and it was just kind of like the boys' basketball team, and then the the women's basketball team. And now everyone is here. Everyone has their mask on. We can't go into different buildings without a mask. It's 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 weird. It's different. But we're adjusting. I'm adjusting. Uh, we're having all our class sessions um virtually some of them are in class but they're limited in um capacity but um it's it's different but i think this is a time coach Haney always tells us that we we have to just adjust we have to be grown women in that in, in that sense so we have to do what we have to do how much do you think that some of this experience can help in an athletic sense, the the ability to adapt, to adjust on the fly, to be kind of freewheeling and focused. How much do you think you guys can apply that in the upcoming year? I think this time is definitely good for for to help us adjust. Like we're not, I'm not, I'm going to say we're not used to uh, having to adjust right on the fly. But I think this time that we're in we're I think we're adjusting really well I think I think my team is adjusting well I think the coaches are adjusting well I think 
the facilities, I think the uh, faculty and the training department is all adjusting well. But as far as the women's basketball team, I definitely think uh, this time to adjust will help us on the basketball court and to transition into whatever, like a scenario in the game, how we can uh, quickly move, how can we quickly change um, on the basketball court and I think this time is uh, definitely challenging, but I think that when we do step on the floor and we do come together and, and compete, um, it this time we'll definitely, uh, we'll remember this and we're like, mm -hmm. we can do anything. So I think this time is uh, definitely going to help us when we when and if we do compete this year. Yeah, hopefully things are, are able to go business as planned going forward for basketball season starting in November or, or, or maybe a little bit after that. We'll see. When you were supposed to have an internship this summer, you've really expressed a lot of interest over the course of the last several years in getting involved in, in television and, and reporting, broadcasting and all. Uh, you've worked with us in our ESPN digital streaming on campus uh, as well as locally with uh, WJXC Channel 4. Oh, what in the absence of having that hands-on experience were, were you trying to do some stuff on your own or are you trying to look around and, and figure out other ways that you can still grow in this for sure i'm always looking for ways to grow and like, well, like we were talking about just to um the times so um i was it was unfortunate that i couldn't uh do the internship this summer i was super stoked super excited about it but hey things happen but in the meantime, I definitely um, see, looked at different things that I could do on my own. And I think that's what a lot of us did, try to, try to make a normalcy out of this. So I, I, I started um, an IG um, live type thing. It was called uh, Live with Lex. And I interviewed uh, some NFL players, WNBA players over the course of this quarantine. And it was awesome. I didn't think that it would go like it did. And I'm and I can still do it if my it has my name on it. So I could still mm. be doing it right now, even when we're not in quarantine anymore, I guess you could say. But it was awesome just being able to speak with uh WNBA players, NFL players, uh overseas players. And I and I I I grew and I built a lot of relationships with those people and a lot of people started to tune in more than I thought. Like I, I had a good following and a lot of people were looking forward to the interviews. I did it. Yeah. Uh, I did, I didn't have a schedule for it, but a lot of people, when they did, when I did uh, do it, a lot of people were tuned into it. And I, like I said, I built a lot of relationships and I built relationships with other journalists and, and I was able to um, speak with them, get some notes from them uh, and even like build a mentorship with someone, which was really cool. So it was it was good for me to just start something of my own that I can have my name on and 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 grow in my journalism. So yeah, that that's was really awesome. Cool. That is awesome. Uh, throw a couple names at us uh, that you were able to interview over the course of this summer. I interviewed Courtney Williams um, with Atlanta Dream. I interviewed Elena Colt with the Washington Mystics. Uh, I interviewed Ezene Kalu. She's an overseas Nigerian uh, player. Um, they were supposed to go to with, without quarantine. It didn't, if quarantine didn't happen, they were going to go play um, in the FIBA uh, World Cup. So mm -hmm. um, Anthony Lanier for the football, um, NFL rather. And if, uh, he's not currently with the team right now, but he played a former uh, NFL player. So that's just a few to name more to come <laughs> super excited <laughs> that's fantastic and and we were chatting a little bit right before we started recording and and we i mean we were kind of remarking about how it's difficult right now right to do some of these traditional paths the the internship with the the news station or the radio station or whatever the the opportunity to get hands on learning because we're just not in a world in which that can really exist right now so you going out and being creative and taking advantage of these amazing opportunities that people have now with social media and and whatnot to to create their own content I mean, good on you. Uh, that that's awesome, and and I hope that uh, you can keep this thing rolling throughout the course of the next uh, several months, and, and get sure, a few thanks. more uh, big names, and keep keep growing that way. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's, uh, this even alone, this project has been, I mean, I, I've gotten more, my interview chops have been, you know, kind of rehearsed more and more over the course of the last several months, just cause you're, we're trying to figure out ways to get more content out there too, in the absence of a uh, sporting event. So it's, you got to be creative and, and, and the creative ones right. are the ones that do well in, in all of this. All right. So as we wrap up here, going into the season, you know, you, you all, you're starting to work together on the floor a little bit more. What, what stands out? I know what coach Haney preaches about his team. He loves athleticism. He loves tenacity. He loves length, but what, what, what stands out to this group in your perspective that could make you all special? Just our ability to come together and regardless of the circumstance, push through. I think and this I think what's so special about this team is we had no excuses. We came in, we got to work, no excuse. I think we were ready to 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 begin basketball again, but I think this group is special because we didn't we didn't have it. We like I said, we were the guinea pigs. We didn't complain. We didn't we didn't have any excuses to why we shouldn't be on campus. I think we were ready. I think at this time we we I think we have to stay ready because you never know what's going to happen. And I think what's so special about this group is us just coming together, no excuses, getting the job done. Well, and we're going to continue to do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's forward. awesome. I, and I hope that you know this is uh, this is going to be a real test for when the season starts. Those that are able to handle the situation the best probably will have the greatest success so that uh, that is he said it a, a, a situation <laughs> that doesn't normally present itself i guess but or at least at a much smaller scale than, than now but it, it will be it'll be crucial to see how that plays out well alexis thanks so much for joining me here today best of luck to you in the the start of the fall semester and of course continuing with with basketball workouts uh, over the course of the next few weeks and look forward to, to hopefully waving to you from a safe distance on campus here soon enough. <laughs> Thank you, Scott, for having me. It was such a pleasure.